What would you say the contingencies are for the position of Adams County Clerk and Recorder? What are the things that are the most important relative to the position you're uh, being elected to? Well, first and foremost, thanks for having me answer that. But customer service, we deal with 440,000 Adams County residents. You've got to be able to take care of them. When they come in, they don't want to wait in line. They don't want to get up to finally talk to uh, an employee and, oops, you're in the wrong line. Oops, I can't help you. I don't know how to do that. So customer service, whether we have to train the employees better, they're very well employees as it is, but cross-train them and how to do other aspects of the job. Secondly, how to smile. When somebody comes in, we're happy to see them because they are our customer. It doesn't matter, male, female, black, white, brown, yellow, purple, Democrat, Republican, independent, doesn't matter. You're our customer, take care of the customer. Because if you take care of the customer, you want people talking about us in a good sense, not a bad sense. I have a wait in line, they didn't know what I was doing, they mixed us up, they screwed it up. No, take care of the customer. Plain and simple. Okay. Um, you've been a proponent also of increasing the level of, of what I would call efficiency. Um, there are a number of measures you feel can get the job done better uh, in, a, in a shorter time and, and in a more productive uh, way. What, um, what would you outlay or uh, propose uh, to make the clerk's and recorder's office more efficient? Well, the clerk and recorder does three main functions. First, the official recording of documents. There's not much you can do there because you have to deal with state issues and state technology. They do a good job there. Department of Motor Vehicles, we're at the mercy of the state's computers, but efficiency, I would look at tweaking the hours. Maybe open later at night, one or two nights a week. Maybe open on weekends because nobody likes to go wait in line, and that's what I always hear. Using technology, maybe using a kiosk in the office. Maybe having a greeter so when they come in that they can, oh, I'm sorry, you're in the wrong line. you got to go all the way back over there and wait in line. No, what are you trying to do? Oh, you can handle this right here. Well, let's get them online. Basically, common sense. And train your employees so they can do it better. With elections, a permanent mail-in ballot is the quickest, simplest, cheapest way to do stuff. It's pretty secure. But also, we have polling centers. And maybe get better computers or technology. There's four vendors out there. And I think the current clerk or the predecessors, they bought the wrong equipment. Yes, it costs money, but in the long run, it'll save you money. But just to get the job done more efficiently, the current clerk in the 2008 election, after the polls closed on Tuesday night, November 4th at 7 o'clock, we did not find out the preliminary results until 25 hours later. Why? The clerk, she had, didn't staff properly, didn't lead them, didn't do a lot of stuff planning ahead of time. When I worked at Radio Shack, we had inventories. You clean the store up before the inventory. You organize the stuff before the inventory. You can count some things before the inventory to make the inventory go smoother, quicker, faster, and also more efficient. Okay. Uh, delving a little deeper into uh, technology, why are, why are you particularly uh, qualified with regard to input new technology, and could you go a little more in depth in terms of what technology can do to uh, make the department more efficient? Technology, I, I've always been a strong proponent of technology. In fact, a lot of people don't know this. I have a ham radio license, Kilo Charlie Zero, Mike Yankee Papa, because I used to work at a radio station. Secondly, when I moved out to Colorado, I went to work at Radio Shack. Radio Shack was your neighborhood electronics store. At one time, they were the number one computer retailer, the number one cell phone retailer, number one electronics retailer. But then Best Buy came out, and Radio Shack kind of got led in the wrong direction. But Radio Shack, we've done things. I've worked with them, but also common sense. Technology doesn't do you any good unless you can harness the power of it, but also you've got to have good people work in the technology. In other words, just because you have a computer, half time some people in that, how to get on the internet, how to do this, or, oh, this is a, a, an email from Citibank. I better open it up. It's a virus. Things like that. You've got to also train the people. But with technology, the office, when you go to the airport and you want to check in, in the old days you had to wait in line, give them your bags, give them everything. Nowadays you can use a kiosk without having to deal with anyone. 
check in quicker, faster, simpler. The internet. You can do a lot of things online. The clerk in the porter's office, their website should be easy explaining what we can do to help out, how to get things done. And secondly, you might be able to do some things online, whether it's 3 in the morning, it's on a weekend, during the day, whenever. Internet is your friend. Keep in mind, though, not everyone has a computer. That's why with technology, I would also want to have a newsletter, probably quarterly, go out. Get my employees to be pillars of the community. We want to give back because we're there to help Adams County. And one thing with Adams County, when you look at us, alphabetically, we're number one in the state of Colorado. With election results, we're typically 64 out of 64 because the current clerk is not leading the employees, not training them properly, not utilizing leadership skills and technology to get the job done quickly, efficiently, and honestly. Okay. Leading into the next question, um, with regards to integrity and honesty, um, what measures would you input to help ensure uh, exactly that in the Office of Clerk and Recorder? In Adams County, it doesn't matter if you're a Democrat, if you're a Republican, the American Constitutionalist Party, an unaffiliated voter, it doesn't matter. If you live in Adams County and you deal with my office, you are priority number one. It doesn't matter what your color is, what your race is, I don't care. You come to see us, we're going to try and take care of you the best we can. As I told them when I worked at Radio Shack, it's like, think of that person coming in as your mother or your grandmother. How would you treat her? You take care of them, you put them on a pedestal. Because if you take care of their customer, they will take care of you. Nobody likes to be treated wrong because then you tell 10 of your friends, you'll tell their friends, and it's bad publicity. If you take care of them, God, I went to the clerk and recorder's office. I was in and out and in a flash. They knew what I was doing. They got me taken care of. Care of. Wow, things have changed. I'd like to see that come back. Okay. And also with, with honesty, we were talking earlier. When I ran a radio shack, a customer came in, and it's my first store I ran in Golden, Colorado, Radio Shacks 3488. He came in on a Friday night. He'd been drinking, gone to the bar after work, together work at Coors. Came in, and I talked to him earlier, and he came in to buy a stereo system and some other goodies, and his total came to approximately $640. He paid cash. He threw me a stack of 20s on the counter, and I counted it, trust but verify, and there was actually $660 there. That was $20 too much. He protested, no, you called me a liar, I know how to count. Well, let's just count together. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 2, 3, 4, 5, 600, 20, 40, 60. He gave me too much. That's your money. Next day he came back when he was sober and apologized, but you take care of your customer, and I hope somebody looks out for me because I'm honest, I'll make mistakes too. And I just hope that you know somebody looks out for me, hey, you gave me too much money. If I'm short, they'll say something. But if you're over, it's not my money, it's your money. Take care of it. Okay. Um, last question. What do you feel the voters of Adams County really need to know and understand about you as a candidate? I care for my customers. I care for the citizens. Currently, right now, I am the president of my HOA, 620 members, one of the largest ones in Thornton. I've also served in two City of Thornton advisory boards. You don't get any pay for this but you're there to try and make a difference to make the world a better place, to make Thornton better, to help out my HOA, my Homeowners Association, so that the home values stay level or go up, make the neighborhood nice to be in, be a part of. You can't do it by yourself. You've got to have good people. So I've got other board members that help me out. They hopefully share the same values. City of Thornton Advisory. We didn't get paid for it because we did get some food when we went to the meetings, but... Uh, in the big picture, just trying to help the community out. I just want to do the best job out there and hopefully say that I made a difference, I put a smile on somebody's face, or just got them taken care of. 